All right, so I'm gonna talk about my very first Francesca Bianchi. Now, I had to get it because of this chick right here. Right, Amina from Experiencing Fragrances for, with Amina, she loves Francesca Bianchi. She raves about Francesca Bianchi. She just talks about her so much. I just had to, I just had to. And, I, and, I, and Amina's one of my favorite reviewers. So I had to try one. And then this one came out. And I was like, ooh, I read the notes. It said, ooh, they were like stuff I love. And I said, okay, yeah, I got to try this. I got to try this. And so I wound up getting it. It's right here. Here we go. A little tiger tiger. And I have a first impression in here. And we're going to do a little mini review. And if you would like to find out what I think about Fran uh, Tiger Tiger by Francesca Bianchi, don't go anywhere. So let's talk about Tiger Tiger by, Fran by Francesca Bianchi. Right here, right here, right here. So first off, let me show it to you. Let me show you the bottle. Um, her bottles are 30 mil. She does not do any larger sizes. She does have discoveries. I think you buy discovery sets, but pretty much this is the size of her bottle. It's a 30 mil size. Um, it's a... You know, it said extract the parfum, so it, it is strong and things like that. So, now, this, of course, is called Tiger Tiger. It is, it is named after the William Blake poem of the same name, Tiger Tiger Burning Bright in the Force of the Night. What immortal mortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? It's a beautiful, classic, iconic poem. And so, this is her um, interpretation of that poem into scent all right so when i saw this and i'm on her um email list when i saw it the when i got the write-up on it and i saw the notes i was like oh yeah i need to try this so it has um the notes are narcotic flowers which are basically white florals honey peach jam patchouli sandalwood oak moss leather heliotrope so it's a um kind of a sheep i guess a sheep however you say it but anyway because it's got that oak moss in it so i was intrigued by it and of course i've been hearing about francesca bianchi so much from my girl amina i was just like okay i need to you know i'm gonna I'm I'm dip my toe in and jump in and get this so i got it so I'm going to give you, first off, I'm going to put in my first impression and let you all see my first impression of when I first got it, bought it, tried it on, everything. We'll give you the first impression, then we're going to come back. I'm going to talk about this and what I think after wearing it a few times and, some, and an alternative. Be right back. Okay, so here is my first impression of tiger tiger and yeah yeah i know i'm gonna look cuter in the other parts of this video but listen you all know how it is something new comes in and you want to do the right thing you got a plan then that little voice in your head starts talking and then things change on your plan you know what i'm saying like that little voice just be talking to you and then you just be like you right though you right though so let's get started on this first impression and then later on you know we'll see what the what i actually think my re review review is why do i look so crazy right now there we go there we go okay so here let me show y'all the bottle now the box is very and if you haven't seen francesca bianchi she's very minimal you know so it's this is the box this is the box that comes in here is the bottle. Oh, and then let me show y'all, because you know I'm trying to be better at this whole review thing. But then it's got a little, a little whatever. Notes are honey, peach preserves, patchouli, sandalwood, oak moss, oud, leather, heliotrope, and tuberose. Now, everybody says it's white flowers, but I know tuberose is in there. It might be some jasmine, some other stuff, but I know it's tuberose. And you know I hear tuberose. <sighs> Sis gotta have it. So let's try her out first impression right now all right let me do so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it on a little paper i'm gonna let it I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on paper first and then i put in my skin for a second so we can see how she's doing so here goes 
Mm -mm. Huh, interesting, because I'm, I'm going to say something in a second. <laughs> interesting. Ooh. Ooh. Now, just waving it is starting to smell good. Ooh, that peach is prominent. It's got a peach, but the peach isn't fake smelling. Why is my hair doing this, y'all? Do you see how crazy I look? Um, the peach isn't, it smells like fresh peaches. It smells like just ripe peaches that you would get from the market. Like if you bought a peaches during the summertime and had them out, and you know how they get really fragrant in your kitchen? That's what I immediately got was that fresh peach. The peach is stunning. Let me just say that. The peach is stunning. I want to see how it smells on me because peach can go really bad on my skin. It gets that sour peach, which ain't cute. Mm. Mm. Now, you know, it's probably the peach and the honey together. Ooh, yes. Okay. I've, I've learned I like honey a lot, too. And the florals are nice. Okay. Okay. But here is the test. Let's put it on my skin. She got a good sprayer, by the way. Whoops. I got a little on my hand. Oh, no. Okay, so I just did one spray on my wrist. Uh-oh, I don't know, y'all. The peach is not doing well on my skin right away. But I'm going to let it sit because... When I tried under my skin, it wasn't, I didn't really like it at first to begin with. So I'm going to let this sit on my skin. But, okay. Okay, that kind of almost sour smell went away quickly. Now I'm getting the peach and the honey. I know they're like, don't put your nose all up in it, but you want to smell it to begin with. So get off my bag. Mmm. It's really interesting because it's it's like I said before with her other ones that I tried. It has a very old, old, classic feel to it, and uh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to let this sit on. So now, so far, it's a like. It's not a love definitely like it though but i, I want to let it dry down and everything wear it a couple of days and then we'll see what i think about it when i do my actual the rest of this video so thanks a lot for watching see you in a second or two with a different look all right so let's talk about tiger tiger by francesca bianchi let me just keep talking about it all right so after my first impression I wanted to let it, you know, because the first thing is, when you do a first impression, you just kind of have it on for a few minutes, and, you know, you, you, it's not, you haven't, you know, you really don't know what you think about it. Ugh. You really don't know what you think about it, right? So, I've been wearing it for days. I said, this is going to be my fragrance for the next few days. Let me just try it out. Let me see what it's all about. Okay. So, let me just tell y'all about Tiger Tiger. When I spray this on, it is glorious. It has this peachiness to it. It has this, you know, just kind of florals. It, it, it smells really beautiful on when I first put it on. That's for the first minute or two. And after that, the mid comes in. And the mid is terrible on me. Um, one of the issues I have, and I love peach, but peach can sometimes smell rotten on me. And this becomes a rotten peach very quickly. I don't know what's going on with the notes, but it just becomes sour and rotten kind of smelling to me. And that lasts and lasts and lasts. So the mid lasts for like 45 minutes to an hour on my skin. I actually timed it, y'all. I took a timer and and was like, let me check this. Let me check it. Let me just see. 
So it was on. Now, once it gets past there, it is stunning. It becomes this, this, the peach becomes that, you know, peachy cobbler. It smells like peach jam. It has that peachiness to it. It has this florals to it. It's beautiful. But by that time, it is gone. It's it, at that point, it is a skin scent to me. It's nothing much to it. So it becomes it becomes this peachy honey vibe, sort of like beeswax. It's kind of got this kind of beeswaxy honey vibe, a very um, natural honey scent. Oh, that smells so good. But by then, it's a skin scent on me. And it doesn't stay on my skin long. I've moisturized, I've shea buttered, I've used my Aveeno Sika Balm. I've done everything trying to hold the scent, but it doesn't hold on my skin. It's gone, it's very fleeting on my skin. It, in like five or six hours, it's gone. But by the second hour, it's truly a skin scent on my skin. But that's where I like it from the top for that first minute or two and then about an hour in where it's starting to smell pretty good on my skin. That's what I like, but it doesn't project out. It's just very close to me. What I'm learning is that a lot of times I need peach to be combined with apricot or with osmanthus in order to get rid of that rotiny peachy smell note to me I'm I gotta be honest I'm disappointed with it um, it wasn't worth the money because this is expensive this is a 30 mil which is you know 30 mils it's around a hundred and something dollars um, you know it's 98 euro pounds a euro I don't know but anyway it's a hundred something so is it worth it mm. Uh, no. Now the good thing is, is that Amina has sent me a couple to try right before I got this. And under my skin, which she raves about, she raves about, she raves about, you can see her right here. So oh, I'm going to switch it up a bit because I know, uh, I know you guys are sick of me talk, you know, talking about this specific fragrance. I'm going to pull it up just because I love it under my skin. It's kind I of funny. Pull up under my skin. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> She must pull up under my skin. Yeah, I feel like for any category of whatever fragrance, this is I'm gonna find a way to incorporate this in it somehow, some way. Even if it's not, it, it smells like it on my skin, okay? Right, right. I love that. You know, I, I really do love under my skin and it and it lasts on my skin and everything. But this just didn't. And, oh, and I forgot to say, and I even sprayed this on a scarf to check it to see, okay, what about on clothing? Will it be different? Is it because it's on my skin? No. It did the exact same thing on clothing. Because maybe, you know, I could just wear it on clothes, you know, spray it on some clothing, on a scarf or something and wear it. It did the exact same thing. It was, you know, pretty in the beginning, the middle stank, and then it was beautiful again in the end. But it wasn't, it, it doesn't project out. It doesn't do all those things. So I'm going to say this here. I'm going to talk about this. But here's what I'm going to say. As I was wearing it, and I was like, wow, this is very similar to something else I have. And I, I was like, well, let me try it. Let me see how they do. And I was right. They are very similar. So what I'm going to say is similar to now they don't the notes aren't exactly the same of course not at all but these kind of are similar when they on my skin but let me tell you why I like this one better just being honest just just you know just got to be honest with y'all I like this one better okay so this is this right here is now mine says B because this is the original packaging, but this is Stung by Ganache Parfums. This one I had to get, this has honey extract, beeswax, natural apple, isolate, frankincense, myrrh, benzoin, and bitter almond extract. So they're, they're not the same fragrance, but they kind of, they, they have some similarities. The difference is this one has a beautiful, this has this apple honey vibe going on. And the apple and honey 
are delicious on my skin now not only does it and the reason why i say that is because that there's this honey beeswaxy scent that's a note that's in both of tiger tiger and this and it's the and it's very strong in both the difference is the apple and the honey Ooh, they are good on my skin they are delicious they are delightful I, i'm like oh yes and then as it dries down and the beeswax comes in it, it just it pulls together and is just this this um honeyed beeswaxy i feel like i'm in around a hive and i'm just breathing in that beeswax and that honey and it's just really beautiful on my skin it just it it, it melds really well with me it stays on long it projects out well it really does it hits all the bells and whistles that i need for something like this because i don't need a lot of honey scents i don't need a lot of things that have this beeswax known in it i just need one or two and this is the one, you know, especially with the beeswax, that really rich um, beeswax and honey that these both have in common. I'll, you know, this one does it better. It's much more affordable because this is 100 mils and this is less than $100. And it lasts on my skin. It projects out. When I'm wearing it, I can smell it for hours. And so I'm just being honest. If you are looking for something that has that kind of honey, kind of beeswaxy vibe to it, go with Stung by Ganache Parfums. I'm not saying this because, you know, he's my friend and, you know, we're cool now. We, you know, I've met him and we're cool. I'm saying it because, honestly, that's the truth. This lasts longer. It smells better. I think the apple and the honey work better together than the peach and the honey and the other notes that she has in it because... I can't smell any of them, but the honey and that that rotten peach, maybe it's the oud and the peach not not playing well together because it does have oud in it. So maybe it's the oud and the peach together that give it that little nasty smell. I don't know what it is, but I know it wasn't worth the price. And um, not, not to say that, you know, not every blind buy is going to work out. This one didn't. But... Nah, I, I, it's a, it's a, it's a, I'm okay without never smelling that again. Um, yeah, it's Francesca Bianchi, Tiger Tiger. All right, so if you've gotten it, go ahead and tell me what you think about it. I'm sure a lot of people are going to love it because let's, let's face it, I am not that, you know, technical, misrefined, um, you know, perfume reviewer. I'm not even, I'm just a person who likes perfume and will share because I buy a lot. Um, so take it the way you want to from me. Uh, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't go ahead, give it a thumbs down, please. If you've tried it, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Were you planning on it? Are you a Francesca Bianchi fan? What do you like from her line? And as always, it's Shilulu. Be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later.